Let's have a look at some worked solutions from checkpoint test 2. Question 2e, the inequality. Here you were given an inequality that had fractions. Remember that inequalities behave in the same way as equations in that you can multiply both sides of this inequality by the lowest common denominator. So we would multiply the left by 4 and we would multiply the right by 4. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. That leaves us with negative 2a plus 1 is less than or equal to. Here we can multiply the 4 into the bracket. gives us 4a plus 12. If we add 2a to both sides and subtract 12 from both sides, that gives us 6a. 1 minus 12 is negative 11. Divide both sides by 6 and you get a to be bigger than or equal to negative 11 over 6. We are asked to represent our final answer as an interval. So if a is greater than negative 11 over 6, it means that negative 11 over 6 will be the smallest number. It's greater than or equal to negative 11 over 6, so it gets a square bracket, and it's all the numbers bigger than that, so it will end at positive infinity, and infinity always gets a round bracket. Question 3, solve for the variable simultaneously. The reason I want to take a look at this question is because you can actually solve this in, um, equation using the elimination method. The reason you can do that is because your two sides of the equation have the same um, terms, a p and a q and a p and a q, and the right-hand sides have got the constants. And you can see that the coefficient of the q is the same in both equations. So if we think about it, because the one q is positive and the other q is negative, if I take the two equations and I add them, if I take a positive number and I add a negative number, it gives me zero. So we will have 3p plus q plus 6p minus q, and then we need to add the two right-hand sides of the equation as well, so it will be 2 plus 25. That gives us 3p plus q plus 6p minus q is equal to 27. The plus q and the minus q adds up to zero. We eliminate the q's and we're left with 9p is 27. Divide both sides by 9 and your p is equal to 3. We still need to solve for q, so we can substitute that into either equation 1 or equation 2. I'm going to substitute it into equation 1. So we will have 3 times 3 plus q is equal to q. 3 times 3 is 9, so if we minus 9 from both sides, we get q to be negative 7. And then finally, question 5. Bongani is 4 years older than Emmanuel. If the sum of their ages is 72, find their ages. Okay, so in any uh, story sum, we start off by letting their ages be equal to variables. So we're going to let Bongani's age be x, and we're going to let Emmanuel's age be y. Okay, so we are told that Bongani is four years older than Emmanuel. So if we want to set up an equation that, that links Bongani's age to Emmanuel's age, if Bongani is four years older, in order to make the two sides the same, we would need to add 4 to Emmanuel's age. Okay. We are also then told that the sum of their ages is 72. So x plus y is equal to 72. We can use equation 1 to help us solve equation 2 by making a substitution. So we're going to substitute equation 1 into equation 2. So wherever I see an x in equation 2, I'm going to replace it with y plus 4. So that will give us 2y, 72 subtract 4 is 68, divide both sides by 2, and 2 goes into 68 34 times. So that means Emmanuel's age is 34. So therefore Emmanuel is 34. And we were told that Bongani is 4 years older, so that means Bongani is 38 years old.